Hi. Okay, well today I decided to come to a place where uh, I came snowshoeing. I did not uh, come here during the summer, fall or spring. Uh, so I wanted to come during the fall. And, um, nice. Unfortunately all the leaves are kind of, not all of them, but a good part of them are gone, are off the trees, but it makes nice uh, foliage on the floor, I think anyways. So yeah, I'm at the Morgan Arbor Arbortum, I have trouble with that word, and uh, <clears throat> bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. So I'm at the Morgan Arboretum. I always want to say Arboretorium. I don't know why, but I think it's Arboretum. But anyways, uh, I'm here and uh, it's an easy hike, but I just really wanted to come out. I didn't feel like going up north, driving an hour and a half or something. I really didn't feel like it. I have other things to do at home, but I really wanted to come out since it's actually sunny today. I haven't been lucky with nature lately, so I had to come and enjoy the fall weather. Uh, I should have brought my gloves. I'm never cold, but today I'm cold. <laughs> I think I'm getting old. Uh, so I couldn't bring Zoe. This is one thing that this place is weird. I never seen this before in another place before. But you practically have to have a resume for your dog. It needs all its shots. You have to bring it. You have to apply to be able to bring your dog here. You cannot just bring your dog. You have to apply. There is a waiting list to bring your dog here, to be able to bring your dog. And uh, yeah. So the first time I've seen that in my, I don't know, nearly 100 and 30 hikes, first time. Oh, look at that little bird. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there, it's not even shy. Oh, I scared him. Yeah, so that's kind of weird. But anyways, to each your own, right? 
Uh, so I could not bring Zoe. I really wanted to bring her somewhere, but the other place I wanted to go that's close to my house, um, they are repairing the, the part I wanted to go see. Um, I went there in the spring and the place I the area I wanted to see was closed because it was a flood. Now they are repairing the place, <laughs> the area. So a that's a good chance that I went on their website to check and see before going because I was going there without looking and I wouldn't went there for nothing again. And that was a place I had paid, I think it was nine bucks to get in. And I couldn't even see what, what I wanted to see. So I'll check on Monday and see if uh, it's going to be open, that area. So I'll continue and try to take nice pictures. This is beautiful. Hopefully I'll see more animals. Oh yeah, it's true. Close to here there's a Nickel Museum. It's like a, a zoo. And uh, I want to go there too today. Maybe after being coming here. But uh, there too. The area of the zoo I want to see is closed. Well, they're doing re re renovations or fixing things up where the birds of prey are and I want to see the um, barred owl since we always when we go backpacking we every time we went backpacking anywhere could be Quebec Ontario anywhere we heard a barred owl every time so I would really like to see one because we hear them but we never see them um, also uh, that'll be part of my tattoo. That big tattoo I have on my arm. Uh, I'm going to have a barred owl somewhere in my tattoo. Added to it somehow, sometime. Because it has to do with us. Backpacking and stuff. So yeah. <clears throat> I'll continue on here. And uh, if I see anything, I'll show you. Bye bye. Cinderella there's all these little birdies they're just waiting for me to walk to fly away <laughs> I don't know why Cinderella and with all the little birds the birds I don't know if you'll see them there but when I'm walking they, they just, they're still following me they take little breaks this is so cute you probably can't see them Passing. I don't know if you can see them. They're still there. They're following me. But I think I'm not sure this is where I'm supposed to be, but anyways. And yeah, about that thing about the dogs. Um, maybe you need like a pedigree to come in here, but I mean you don't have to put a leash. Well, I don't know, I guess not. All these dogs, there's tons of people with dogs and they don't have any leashes. So, huh? Okay, I don't know why this is, but, well, 
dogs one way only. Why? That's weird. <laughs> I don't know, but it's kind of weird. Weird things, I don't know. It must be a reason why, but I hope I can go this way, and I hope this is the way I'm supposed to be going. Because, uh, I did the yellow trail, now I'm doing part of the orange trail. But uh, I don't know if it's the orange trail I'm doing right now or not. Because I didn't see anything. That looks like a nice little trail. But I came this way especially to see something nice that I remember seeing when it came in the winter time. Sentier d'aménagement forestier 2. Forest Management Trail 2. Hmm. Oogie. Maybe I'm not on the right one, but yet I see a little sign over there that I've been seeing on when I'm on the right trail. So little things like this talking about the forest and stuff so I probably am on the right trail they're just not showing but they all practically come in uh, they all practically uh, all uh, end up at the same place so it's not like it's a big uh, forest as you can see the, this is not the yellow trail I did but this is the other trail it's just like it looks like a road to me it's not my type of trail, but I'm doing it because it's going to a nice place, I saw. Um, the other trail I went on was beautiful. It was more a bit like in the Laurentians. Just not any hills or mountains or anything. But see, this is uh, taken care of by... Um, I think it's the city of Montreal or something, so... That's why it's like urban, so I'll see you later, bye-bye.